the Army uh, Draft Day in 1990 in Vancouver. That's a pretty sweet set of flow you got going there. Uh, um, what did you know about North America? Were you scared to come over? I didn't know what to expect. I didn't speak any English. Uh, but after the, after the draft, when Pittsburgh Penguins drafted me, they, they took me back to, to Pittsburgh, and it was pretty cool. You had the good fortune of, uh, of playing with Mario Lemieux when you got to Pittsburgh. How long did it take for this to develop? Jagger, what a move. Look at him go. A chance to, to meet him at the party right after the after the draft and uh, first time I saw him was 85 in Prague there was a world championships and uh, since then he was he was my favorite player he was absolutely the best out there he was 18 years old and he was he was dominating and uh, he beat uh, he beat the Russians by himself he scored I think two or three goals and uh, and back then nobody likes Russians from our country then you know, he was a, he was he was a hero <laughs> now you you scored almost 670 goals in the National Hockey League. Do you, I mean, maybe this is impossible, but do you have any that, that stand out for you that you say, you know what, that was my favorite goal? Well, you know, it's tough to say. That like, this is my favorite right here oh. against Chicago. I mean, Brent Sutter is a heck of a defensive forward, and you've got him fishing for nickels right here. Well, it was, uh, you know, I was pretty lucky. <laughs> oh, you were lucky. <laughs> I, I was pretty lucky, yeah. You know, and when you're young, you don't you don't really care. Not that you don't care, but you play you play free. You don't you don't really think about mistakes and what can happen if you turn the puck over. The, that's I think it's an advantage for the young guys. They just go and play, and uh, you know I, I, that's what I had. You guys were filled with Hall of Famers in Pittsburgh. I mean, that was just a phenomenal team. You won the back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, and then you lost to us guys, which should have never happened. Why did you guys not win a third cup? Well, I, I remember that before, before, before the playoffs, we won like 16 or 17 straight, uh, straight games. Uh, I think it was an NHL record, and uh, everybody thought, you know, they're gonna win this third straight cup. But it just, it just didn't happen. We, we went through the first round easily. I think it was against New Jersey, and then, you know, I thought. You know, we were kind of overconfident, and you guys surprised us. Uh, surprised and, us, too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and goalie was playing fantastic. Uh, I think it was Healy, and, and he, was, he, was, he was fantastic in the net. Uh, you know, I, I think he stopped Mario, like, the game seven, he stopped him, like, three times on breakaways. The salute became one of your signatures. So where did that come from? Because we hated it when you scored on us <laughs> and did that. Well, I love that because I knew I scored. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, be young, be, be different, I guess, uh, you know. Did it, did, it, did it come from anywhere? Or did well, it, it came from uh, Denver Broncos, uh, you know, they, they did it, they started. I think that Davis, the running back, started doing that. If you could go back, um, back to the days in Pittsburgh, you, you were traded to Washington. Would you have wished that would have turned out differently? You know, Craig Patrick dropped me uh, when I was 18 years old, and we were in Pittsburgh together for 10 years. And, you know, he was, he was like a dad to me uh, in, in Pittsburgh. And, and it was pretty tough for me to, to, to leave Pittsburgh. But on the other side, I remember, you know, there were three free agents. It was Marty Straka, Robert Lang, and uh, Alex Kovalev. There was a whole second line, there were free agency. And I was making so much, so much money back then. And we were in good shape financially in, in, in Pittsburgh. Well, if I stay in Pittsburgh, I knew we, we don't have a chance to sign those three guys and we not, we going over. So I, I was talking to Craig Patrick for uh, after the season. I told him, Craig, I think it would be easier for the, for the team and I think it would be better for the team if you guys trade me and sign those three guys. And, uh, and I have to be the guy to say I want to be traded because Craig, I don't think back then would be, it would be tough for him and you know that's that's what really happened. I, and but it's ten years ago. So don't worry about it. But uh, well, <laughs> I didn't know it's going to turn that way. But that's 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 what really happened. In two thousand and eight, you uh, you went back to the, or you went to the KHL. Um, why did you come back? After two three years, I started mixing it. Uh, the fans, what did you miss? Well, the fans, the the excitement of hockey. You know, there's there in in the KHL. Uh, there's 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 there a very good league, and uh, no question about it. So it was very hard. The practices was a lot harder than the U.S. The traveling was hard, but 
not every arena was full, not every arena was great, you know, there was sometimes it was two, three thousand at the game, and it was kind of tough over there, and that's what I started missing, the game and the, the fans and the, the game in playoffs. Gager, through the defense, and a goal, he scores! And so you come back, and of all the places to come back to, you end up in Philadelphia, I mean, the cross-state rival of the Penguins, and when you came back there, everyone I talked to spoke about how dedicated you were and how hard you worked and how you led these younger guys. And that was a little bit different from when you were, when you were the young guy. So, so what changed for you? Well, uh, you know, I don't think it's changed anything. I always work hard. I always loved the game. I just didn't show it. You know what, in my opinion, I don't think I have that much talent. But I always work. Oh, come on. Well, I well, mean, you're, you're one of the most incredibly talented players what, that but our I, generation I, I think the I think the work ethic is more than my talent. You know, I, I believe I cannot do anything without work. If, if I miss one day of practice, I, I don't have a confidence for next day. I don't feel good. Uh, and, and You should try it from where we play from. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, the way, that's what I think. Would you like to play in Sochi? Uh, I think the coach said he has a place for me if I wanted to. <laughs> But I think if, if you want to play in Sochi, I think you have to, you have to play at least half of the year on the big guys. Uh, in my age, uh, that would be. If I, go, if I go back in Europe and I, I, I'm going to feel good uh, and I'm going to feel like I can help the team, I would like to go. But if I would play still in the U.S., uh, I don't think I can do that. Has there been... Anything that uh, it really strikes you over your career is some real difficult times that you've, you've kind of had to battle through that maybe, maybe people don't know about? Well, I, probably sometimes I was misunderstood, but, uh, you know, it's understandable. I'm from a different country, and, uh, you know, sometimes I wasn't very happy, but it wasn't only because I, didn't, I wasn't happy with my play, and I always put so much pressure on myself to... To, to help the team, and if I didn't play well, I didn't, I didn't score goals, I wasn't very happy because I know I don't know helping anybody, and I should be the guy. I always felt I always felt I should be the guy to make the difference. And if I wasn't doing that, and if I didn't feel good, it, it, it was it was tough on me. I couldn't. I, I probably didn't handle it right. You know, I, I was in a bad mood, but not because you know I was bad mood, but because I didn't play very well. And I couldn't do anything about it. Sometimes it's so so tough when you are the guy, and everybody look at you, and hoping you're gonna make a difference. And you know inside of you you don't have it right now. That's a, that's that's the worst feeling anybody can have. And you know I hate that feeling. Have you ever thought about your place among the greats of the game? When I was younger, we didn't really know anything about the NHL. It was kind of illegal to talk about it. Back then, it was during the communist years, uh, nobody really talked about NHL. So I never really had a chance to, to watch those great players before me to play this league. But I know I would have a lot better numbers if I wouldn't go to, to Russia for three years and it wouldn't be a lockout. Uh, when I look at my numbers, uh, I wanted to finish second out behind Wayne Gretzky. I don't, I don't have a chance right now. Because I went to Russia, but, but you're uh, close to Lemieux right now. <laughs> He's next. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, I said right after I went to Russia, I said I'm not gonna think about the stat statistic. I I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna enjoy the game. But that's what it is. For 20 years, people have loved watching you play. Thanks for Thank your you time. Thank you very much, guys.